Uh, welcome. I will share my screen. Um, give me a second here. Uh, and uh, let me go here. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. So my name is Rick. I am from California uh, in the United States, but I am living in Africa right now. Okay. And your teacher has asked me to provide a, a lesson about animals in the environment in Africa. Okay. So, first of all, how much do you guys know about Africa? What do you know about Africa? What do you know about Africa? We know English is okay. Go ahead. Africa is the the island. Is the, the country? It's near the Europe. Good, good, good job, good job, very good job. So, so you can see here on the map. Okay, this is the yellow. The yellow is Africa, and this area here is Europe. And then you guys live over here, right? Um, and Vietnam is over in this area here. Okay, so you can see Africa. And then Europe is this area over here. Uh, this is Russia, this is China, this is Vietnam in this area, and Australia, okay? And then my country is over here in the United States, okay? Good, good job, good job. Okay, the country I live in is called right now Tunisia. It's the north part of Africa, okay? Africa is a, is a big continent, okay, it's very big. And the north, the center, and the south. So again, like Vietnam, Vietnam, you have the north part of Vietnam, uh, you have the middle part of Vietnam, and you have the south part of Vietnam, right? So Africa is like that, okay? The north, the middle, and the south. Okay, good. <clears throat> so first of all, we're gonna talk about the desert, the desert in Africa, okay? They have a lot of desert in the north part of Africa. It's called the Sahara Desert. Okay. And it's a very, very, very big area across Africa. Okay. A lot of sand, not very many trees, not a lot of water. Okay. So you can see here, you can see here uh, the different countries in the north part of Africa, like Egypt. Uh, Tunisia, Sudan, uh, different countries in the north part. And then over here is, is uh, European countries, okay? Italy, uh, Spain, France, uh, different countries, okay? So this is the north part of Africa. What kind of animals do you think live in the desert? What kind of animals? What do you guys think? What kind of animals do you think would live in the desert? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a camel. It's a camel. Okay, camels. Okay, what else? No. Huh? Camels. No. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, 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 yes, there are many, many camels. Uh, where I live, uh, sometimes you see camels. Uh, so many camels. So let's talk about the, the the different animals. So the first one you see is the camels, okay? Right? And again, in, in, in this part of Africa, there are many camels. 
Uh, some are are domesticated, meaning they they help people to carry things. Maybe people ride them. Uh, some are wild. Okay. Uh, then they have something they call meerkats. Okay. Meerkats look a little bit like a, a small cat or a small dog. Okay. What 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 is what is something unique about camels? What is something very special about camels? What is one characteristic or something very special about camels? What's the special of this animal? The special thing of this animal? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, camel, uh, water, and uh, and it's wet. Good, um, good, water. good job, good job. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, so you see this bump? You see the bump on the back of the camel? This is where they store the water, right? Yes. So they can go for a long time without drinking water because they store water in the back here, right? Yes. Good, good job. And and there are some camels that have this this one right here has one one hump or one one bump, but some of them have two, right? Depends upon the, the type of camel, right? Yeah, all right. Okay, good, good, good job, good job. Okay, there are two more animals that we find. Uh in the in the desert, one is called an ard bark, ard bark. Okay. Uh, the other is called a chameleon, which is a type of lizard. Okay. So so what is what is special about the ard bark? If you look at the ard bark's nose, why do you think he has such a long nose? Why? Long nose. Why is that that long nose? Is that the thing you know? Okay, so so one of the reasons why they have a long nose is they eat termites and ants and insects, okay? So they use their nose to go inside the ground to look for insects, okay? You guys understand? Yes. Okay. You don't have a sign? Ah, the animal Long nose in my nose. I don't know, you can ask him. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he has. If you see here, you see he has a long nose, and they use that to go inside the ground to search for food. Okay, right. Now the other one is called a chameleon. Okay, and I think in Vietnam you also have chameleons. You have different types of chameleons, but but what is special about chameleons? What is something special about chameleons or unique? You guys know? What is special about them? There's there's two things to look at. One is the tongue. See how his tongue reaches out very far? Okay. Okay, the second is chameleons can change their color. Okay. So, so they do something they call camouflage to, to, to protect themselves or to hide themselves. So if a chameleon is against a, a green, let's say in a tree, he could change the color of his skin to green to mask the tree. Okay. And again, in Vietnam, in your country, you have you have chameleons. Uh, there are many countries around the world that you have chameleons in Vietnam in your country. Okay. 
Any questions? <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Uh, the fact about a chameleon is chameleon have eyes uh, in the on the back of their hands. Good, 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 good job. Exactly. So, so one of the characteristics or features about a chameleon are their eyes, right? So, we think about us, we have our eyes in the front of our chameleons or on the side. Why, why is that important? Why? Why is it important to have the eyes on the side? Why? You see, you see his eyes. Yeah, right. Why? Why is it important? Okay. Yes. Uh, because they can see the predator behind them. Good, good. So, so having eyes that can look to the back and the front gives them the ability to look for food. Also, if maybe something's trying to eat them, they can see it, right? Yes. Good, good, good job. Very good job. Okay. Okay, so those are some of the types of animals we find in the desert in Africa. Okay. Now let's go to the jungle, okay? So in your country in Vietnam, you have a lot of jungle. Uh, what are what are what's what's special about a jungle? Tell me something special about a jungle. What is special about a jungle? Okay. What is special about a jungle? um so i think the jungle have a lot of trees and there may be uh, some rivers growth to uh, grow them Maybe. good 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 job exactly exactly so we think about a jungle as a place that has a lot of trees a lot of rain maybe rivers uh, lakes uh Okay, right. So, so in your country again, you have a lot of jungle. Uh, in Africa, some parts of Africa, they have a lot of jungle. Uh, Amazon rainforest in South America, they have a lot of jungle. And and the reason we know that is because there are many trees. It rains a lot, uh, a lot of water. Right. It's the opposite of the desert. Right. The desert, it doesn't rain very much. There are not very many trees, uh, and and rivers. But in the jungle, like like again, in your country in Vietnam, you have areas like in Thailand, uh, uh, different parts of Asia, you have a lot of jungle, right? Indonesia, okay, places like that. Okay, good. Good job. Okay, so some of the animals we see in the jungle include parrots, snakes, lizards, uh, gorillas, chimpanzees, uh, many, many different things, okay? Now, one of the things that, that you will always think about is in Africa, the, in the jungle, in some countries, they have gorillas, okay? What is, what is, what is, what is something special about gorillas? Are they big? Are they small? What's special about gorillas? Yes, 
Uh, they are the group is they are live together, eat together, sleep together. Good, good, good. So they're very social, right? They 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 have groups of gorillas that live together. They're not they're not uh we say solitary, they don't live by themselves, they live in family groups, right? Yes. Good, 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 excellent, good job. Also, they're big, right? They're very strong, right? Yeah. Very, if you look at the picture, they're very, they have a lot of muscle, they're very strong. Okay. Uh, elephants. So, so, so in Africa, you have elephants, two, two types of elephants. One that lives in the jungle, one that lives in, in, in other areas. Okay. So Vietnam, you also have elephants, right? Yeah. You have Asian elephants. They call them Asian elephants. So Vietnam, Thailand, uh, some countries in in in, in Asia also India. have elephants. India has elephants. The difference between the African elephant and the Asian elephant is size. The African elephants are very 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 big. Okay, very big. Okay, what do elephants eat? No. What do they eat? Elephants. Uh huh. Yeah, elephants. What do they eat? They eat fruit and grass and trees. Good, good, perfect, perfect. How how do they eat? Gorilla. No, no, the elephant. How they have the trunk, right? The long nose of the trunk, right? Yes, they have a trunk to eat it. Good, exactly. What do gorillas eat? Like eating banana. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they eat bananas, but they eat fruit, uh, also other things like that, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Good job. Good job. Okay. Uh, there's two more types of animals we see in the jungle in Africa. One is called a leopard. Okay. Uh, it's like a tiger, but it's smaller, and they live a lot in the trees. Okay. Something special about leopards, they're not like gorillas. They don't live in groups. They live basically by themselves, okay? The other is chimpanzee. A chimpanzee is, is in, for example, in Vietnam, you have monkeys. You have many types of monkeys in Vietnam, right? So in Africa, they have monkeys, but they also have chimpanzees. So what is special about chimpanzees? What do you think is special about chimpanzees? Very special about this. Trunk. Oh. What is special about? Trunk. 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 Okay, one one of the one of the characteristics about chimpanzees is they're very, very intelligent, very smart. Okay. Right? Uh they are the closest to mankind, okay, of all the of all the say primates, uh monkeys, gorillas, these things. Chimpanzees are the closest in terms of intelligence to men. Okay. What what do you think? What do you think? What do you think they eat? What do chimpanzees eat? <laughs> yeah, the chimpanzee eat just like a gorilla. Okay, good, good. Monkey. So they eat a lot of fruits, uh insects, sometimes they eat insects, okay? They eat fruits. Yeah, many, many fruits. Have you guys heard the word omnivorous? You know what that word means? Omnivorous? No. Uh, omnivorous here. I'll put it in the chat and your teacher can, can uh, share it with you. Uh, um, I think this is right. But it basically means that it eats different things. For example, maybe insects, maybe fruit, okay, maybe grass sometimes, okay. 
the many fruits. You're right. No. What's that? Uh, just like banana. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times bananas or other fruit they find in the jungle, right? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay, how about leopards? What do leopards? Leopard. It's the mammal. Leopard. What do they eat? They eat the herbivore animals. Good, good. So exactly. So leopard is a carnivore, okay, which means they eat meat, right? Yeah. Okay, so they're meat like a like a lion, tiger, uh, something like this. Okay, good. No, it's like it's eating the herbivore animals like giraffe. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like like gazelle, uh, maybe baby giraffe, uh, a large giraffe they can eat maybe, but like baby giraffe, deer, right? Something like this, right? Yeah. Sometimes monkeys, if they catch a monkey sometimes, right? Because remember, a leopard, something about a leopard is different than a lioness. Leopards are good at climbing trees, okay? Le lions do not climb trees, okay? But leopards are really good about climbing trees. So monkeys, if you think about it, a monkey, where do they go to be safe? They go to the trees, right? Yeah. But the leopard can go in the trees with them. <laughs> so yeah, good, good job, good job, very good job. Okay, so the next part of, of Africa we're going to talk about is what we call savanna or grassland, okay? This is where, when we think a lot about Africa, this is where we see a lot of the animals that we think about in Africa, okay? Uh, and, and this covers a big part of the continent, okay? So what kind of animals do you think live in this environment? What kind of animals do you think will live in this environment? What kind of animals live in this environment? You guys know? Yes. <laughs> Um, in grassland, I think there's an ostrich, tiger, and rhino. And okay, okay, good, good. So let's talk. So, so, okay, the first one you, or one of the ones you said was lion. So, yes, we see a lot of the lions that live in the, in the, in the grassland. Why, why would they live there? Why? Do you know why? Um, maybe the atmosphere is there, perhaps they're flying, and they have some place. Uh, like, um, I don't know much, but I think that maybe the atmosphere there is good for them. Okay. So one of the reasons why lions live in this open area, a lot of the food they eat also lives in that area. Okay. The 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 buffalo. Uh, like, if, for example, in Vietnam, you have something called a water buffalo, okay, in Vietnam, okay? They have something similar to that in, in Africa, okay? It's like a buffalo, okay? So they live in the, in the grassland, deer, okay? The deer, because lions eat deer. Uh, so a lot of the animals that lions eat live in that environment, okay? Uh, baby zebras, maybe, this kind of stuff, okay? Okay, on the right hand side, we have something we call savanna elephant. A savanna elephant is a little bit different than the forest elephant or the jungle elephant. Savanna elephant, it is, is you know, bigger. Uh, and again, uh, there are two types of elephants basically in Africa, the jungle elephant and savanna elephant, okay? So you have lions and elephants, 
Okay, you also have zebras and giraffes. Okay, what is Ben? How can you tell the difference between a zebra and a horse? What's the difference between a zebra and a horse? The difference of, of zebra and the horse is the zebra has the stripes on it. Good, good, good job. So yes, the zebra has has the black and white stripes that we see here, right? Um, yeah. They're also, they're a little bit smaller than a horse. Uh, I, there are many types of horses, but but in, in America, the horses we have, uh, zebras are a little bit smaller, but the biggest difference, you're right, is the black and white stripes, okay? Yeah. Um, okay, so the other side, you see the giraffe, okay? Why, why do you think the giraffe has a long, long neck? Why? What's good about that? Because... Because its front leg is taller in the real life. Because the front because the front leg is taller than the real legs. Okay. The yes, the front yeah. legs are taller. Yes, the front legs are, are longer, longer than the the back legs, right? Yeah. But also, if you look at the giraffe, the, the good thing about having a long neck, they can reach the trees to eat food, right? Yeah. Okay, so they can eat food that's very high that other animals cannot eat, okay? Like the, yeah. the branches, the leaves on a tree, these things, right? Yeah. Good, good, good job, good job. Okay, and again, a lion a lion uh, will eat like sometimes the baby giraffes or baby zebras or, or these things, okay? Okay, good, good. Okay, so I have a little, uh, I want to find out if you remember, so... What is the name of this animal? Zebra, right? Okay. Zebra. What is the name? Zebra. What is the name of this animal? Come here. Do you remember the name? What's the name of this? It's a meerkat. Meerkat. Okay. Meerkat. Meerkat. Okay. And the name of this animal? Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Let me let me let me close the book. Okay. And what was what was the name of this animal? Was it the name of the animal? Huh? John. Aardvark. Aardvark. Right? Yes. Aardvark. Okay. And what's the name of this animal? What's the name of the chicken? Okay. Uh yes. They say you said the day. It's a uh, chimpanzee. Good, good, perfect, good, good job, good job. What, what do, what do chimpanzees eat? What do chimp, 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 uh, chimpanzees eat? What do, what do they eat? Okay, finally, it is. Let me then talk. It is. Is it what? It's a monkey. This monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's but. The, Banana. Banana. A banana. 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 Banana.
What was this animal called? What was this called? Sorry, can you hear what? me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, we are still here. Okay. So the last one, the last one was called the elephant, right? Forest elephant, right? Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, Vic, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to um a, a short video and I'm gonna show them that short video. Okay, and then we'll we'll talk about any questions they may have. Okay. So let me go to the short video. Hey, So let me go back to. So I guess I guess I want to give you guys some time now if you have any questions about things we talked about. Do you guys have any questions about about Africa or about uh, me or anything? Any questions? Now, the question to ask him, or you can ask him, so, uh, make a question to ask him about African, about himself, or something, about the equal of African, about the equal of African, anything. Stop that. Yes. If I give us two times already, right? And then, or or you know if they, if, if they want if your students want they can tell me about vietnam they can tell one of maybe one of them could talk to me about the food maybe or about the animals in vietnam or things like that me okay okay you introduce him about some, something about Vietnamese, uh, about our Vietnam, the animals, or some famous animals, some special animals in our country, or some special thing in our country. If you invite him to come to our country tonight. Yeah. Vietnam is the perfect place in, a, in, a, in our. Okay. It has the national park. There are animals as crocodile, elephant, horse, pony, and and other and other creatures. Okay. How about how about the how about the beaches? Are they, does it have nice beaches? Yeah. <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> very nice. So 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 tell me about the food in Vietnam. About the food. Food. Okay. Food. Exactly. Yeah. Talking about. The food in Vietnam. To make him feel uh, excited, okay, to make him feel excited to come to Vietnam, okay? Um, so in Vietnam, there's a lot of foods, and there's one of them, there's most popular is bánh mì and noodles, and some of like them are bún chả. Um, but in common, like uh, in all Vietnamese, you know, they also have vegetables. Okay, what kind of what kind of uh, vegetables or fruit do people there eat? Uh, we uh, often have cabbage, cabbage. Uh, Lettuce, um, and some <laughs> kind of yeah, I don't remember much. And I think you have a lot of like pineapple, tropical fruit, pineapple, mango, coconut, right? Yeah, a lot of fruits. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna ask you one more question. Do you think that people in Vietnam eat 
if the food is very healthy? Um, I think common, they not really healthy, but yeah, I think so because they often have dessert, like um, they often eat fruits and also they often eat salads and vegetables. Okay, good, good. So not, not very much fast food, huh? You know, fast food? Fast food. Um, fast uh, yeah, fast food. So yeah, in Vietnam, they also have fast food too. Um, that is it common in uh, like in all the city and people. Sometimes they, I think they are going to like eat it a lot fast food now nowadays. Okay, do, do they do they have like I think they have like McDonald's and like American fast food places there, right? Yeah. Okay, it's it's not good for you. It's bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So 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 big. I I have I have I have one more question for for each of the students. I I want them to give me one word one word that describes Vietnam. One word. One word. one word that describes Vietnam. Again, one word to describe about Vietnam. You're not using the word in your language. Okay, now start. Start. Can you can you come here? Hurry up. One word to describe about Vietnam. Um, the word I want to describe about Vietnam is the uh, friendly countries. Okay, so friendly. friendly. Yeah, friendly. Okay. Nice. Nice. Next, hurry up. Go on, Max. Okay, Max. The next one word to describe about our country. Ah, uh, daddy. Oh, daddy, our country has that stuff. One word, for example, uh, friendly and something else. Lots of food. Okay. Yeah. Anna, come here. One word to describe that Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, now hello. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so I think that is over Cali, Fragilistic, Spelly, Idy, Delicious. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, you say that better than I do. Okay? Yeah. The next. Next, we have to talk. Um, uh, please do not make it up. Okay, that is okay. Anna, okay, Bella, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, okay, very interesting. Very interesting. Actually, this is one word to describe the fellow country. Like, uh, let's say that it pictures because Vietnamese, um, our country is uh, really famous for a lot of beautiful pictures, right? So I can do that. I can say that it pictures. Okay, anything else? No. It's not. Anything else? No. Kind, right? Vietnamese people are, are very, very kind and friendly, right? Kind, friendly, helpful, right? 
that role we is always ready to help other pe other people. Anything else? No? You have you have nothing to talk about our country. <laughs> Well, let me let me let me tell you, uh, and, and maybe for your students that that are not um, strong in, in English, you can you can pass oh. this to them. In America, where I live, in America, in California, I have many, many, many Vietnamese friends because there's a lot of Vietnamese that, that come to California. So I have many, many, many Vietnamese friends. And, and all of them are friendly, they're smart, uh, uh, they're, they're helpful. So I believe everything that you said, I believe all the things that your students said, and it sounds like a beautiful, beautiful country, okay? With a lot of food, okay? <laughs> okay, well, listen, um, Thank you for letting me have this time with your students. Uh, yeah. If you want, in the future, we can talk more about doing it maybe. Uh, and I think these students are older than the other students. Uh, I noticed that. So maybe it's a little bit different, but they did a great job. Uh, and I wish them all success. And uh, we can talk more about doing some more things in the future if, if you want or if your students want, okay? Uh, okay, yes, so Richard, thank you for sharing the information that is uh, really you for uh, lesson today for uh, my uh, for my student and I really, really love that. Okay, so Good. I hope that I hope that I, I, I know that you are really busy, but I hope that um, if um, you still have time, so sometimes you can say some uh, some um, you can do the other workshop like that for her to have the chance to talk with a foreigner like you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can talk more about it. We can talk more about it. We can plan something that, that would be interesting for them. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. okay. So, yeah. Okay. We are really, really grateful for what you, uh, what you did for us. Okay. No, my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Okay. Okay. Now, everybody, uh, let's say bye bye to him and say thank you to him, everybody. Bye bye. 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 Bye b